Earl Glant, shop foreman here at Township Chevrolet for another edition of uh, Tech Talk. I'm uh, going to go over some basics today, I guess. Uh, air filters. Um, they're just as important as they ever were. As cars advance and they get uh, systems get newer and the cars get newer, there's less and less things that uh, we do on a you know on a regular basis that we used to do and would call a tune-up. For instance, spark plug wires. Most cars don't have those anymore. Uh, fuel filters. They don't have those anymore. Um, but there is a few things that still remain like an engine air filter and they're just as important, as important as they ever were and sometimes even maybe a little more important with a lot of engines being turboed. So the air induction system is really important. Um, so what we'll do, I just got a cruise here it's a 1.4 liter and it is a turbo engine. Uh, this customer's vehicle only has about 2,000 kilometers on it, so not very, or sorry, 20,000 kilometers on it. So not very much. Um, for the most part, most people would think that the air filter should be pretty clean still and everything would be good to go. So uh, I've already gone ahead and loosened up the screws here. I'm going to unplug the uh, mass airflow sensor. This is the sensor that reads the volume of air that's going into the engine. Uh, a lot of vehicles used to have uh, what they call the speed density, where we kind of guess that with a few other inputs of other sensors. But now, uh, and they've been doing this for quite a few years now, they got this sensor in here that actually reads the volume that goes through there. Um, of air to make its uh, main adjustments for uh, air fuel mixture so it's very important so obviously when that filter's dirty and there's not enough uh, air going by that's going to throw out the whole the whole uh, calculation so I've loosened up the, the screws like I said I've pulled out the hose here um, the clamp and there's the screws so we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip this over and this is going to be your air assembly on this um, mainly to check these things what I do uh, if you can see light through them, then uh, the air is getting through. So uh, I just go ahead and I just shine a light through that. Um, make sure there's, there's uh, good airflow getting through it. If there's not or it's plugged up, let the advisor know. We'll come out and talk with you and uh, give you a quote on getting that filter changed. Um, now one thing I did notice when I took this off, the air filter on this vehicle is good. Um, but inside the breather box here, there's obviously over the... Uh, Winter months has been a little critter in here because we've got some peanut shells and some some of those uh, little leaves and seeds and stuff in there. So um, even without uh, replacing the filter, it's a good idea to clean all this out of here. Uh, it, it could block the airflow and also just take a look down the uh, piping to make sure nothing's in there and plugged up. So the less air your engine gets in, the less that mass airflow sensor picks up on air, which means it's going to limit fuel. Um, which would almost make you think that maybe the car would be better on gas, but what will happen is you'll end up giving it more throttle to try to compensate for that restricted airflow, which is going to cause you to burn more gas. So the more power you have, the less gas you can potentially burn because you don't have to give it as much throttle input, right? Uh, with the turbo, it's even uh, more important because now instead of just using the manifold pressure to draw that air in, now you've got a turbo that's, that's pulling, trying to pull that air through. So a restriction becomes even more noticeable uh, and then you'll even have less power which means you're obviously more throttle input and you're harder on gas too so um, for the most part these things are pretty easy to look at pretty easy to check um, we do it pretty much every time you bring your vehicle in here no matter what it's for the boys will pull this just to make sure everything's good because it's such an easy thing to to look at and check for you guys um, and uh, for the most part they're pretty cheap too usually roughly around 39 dollars give or take depending on the application of the brand of the vehicle uh, we'll put one of those in and uh, It'll keep your uh, car running you know, really well and keep the fuel mileage up. So um, just something to keep in mind if, you, uh, if you're not sure if this has been checked or if uh, you, you know, the garage you go to hasn't been checking it or you want someone to check it, just bring it in and let us know and we'd be more than happy to pull that for you and take a look. Uh, it's another edition of Tech Talk and we look forward to doing business with you. Thanks.